greetings and welcome to another episode of our Ethiopian adventure here on Victoria 3. In the previous episode, just to give a short summary, we managed to extend further the territories of the Empire of Ethiopia. As you can see, we now have this state here. Ethiopian Gondor is a small state but highly populated. We managed to pass two important laws. Law number one, professional army, finally. So we moved from peasant levies to professional armies. We are the only country in this region, let's say the, the region of uh, historical Ethiopia, that managed already to make this switch. And then the second uh, important law that we managed finally to pass is colonial resettlement, which basically means that now that we are an unrecognized regional power ranked 44 in the world, we also have the possibility to establish colonies. If we go to the diplomatic lens, you can see that for the area of interest I have selected Zanj. I don't know how to pronounce this correctly, but I think it's Zanj. And um, the reason why I have selected this area is because I am particularly interested in this little state called Turkana. The reason why I am targeting Turkana is because they have coal. So if you follow the previous episode, you know that I have uh, conquered the Ethiopian Somaliland because here they have iron and we already started to uh, extract the iron from the iron mines. But we still lack coal, which is another fundamental um, resource for the development of our country. Now, the point is that unfortunately we cannot, of course, colonize the state here if we do not have access to the state. And the only way that we could have to the state is through Kaffa, because as you can see they share this microscopic border. It's maybe the time to go for another war, unfortunately we could try to conquer Kaffa in order then to enable us to start a colony in uh, Turkana. I hope I will not um, regret this decision and I hope also that France will not join this war, because another thing that I have highlighted in the previous episode and maybe it's worth to be underline again is that now that France established is about to establish a colony here in Kenya they only need 10 days basically we will be directly bordering with France so it will be extremely inconvenient if France will join this war it's a risky decision but it needs to be taken let's try our luck diplomatic place conquer state so here is Kaffa let's see Let's confirm this diplomatic play and let's see how things develop. I always start the episode with a war, basically, and then I spend the remaining part of the episode trying to fix the problems. <laughs> let's see if I'm lucky again. So far we won all wars, but I'm afraid that this time it might be more difficult than in the past. They are supporting by Major 10. Okay, so this time let's pick somebody with... defensive uh, strategies so we could place him to defend against Major 10 and then use the other to penetrate the territory of Kaffa. Let's do it. And here we are. War with Kaffa has broken out. Okay, it seems that it started well but we have to see how it develops. On the other front we are managing to block our opponents. They have minus 89%. Minus 95, okay, it should be done. It's a matter of time. Very good. We managed to make Kaffa capitulate. Now I want also the war reparation from Major 10. Okay, we are finally managing to penetrate also Major 10. So far, pushing with both generals. We are doing a good job, good job there. Very good. Minus 7.8. Aye, aye, aye. And France is uh, spreading rapidly here. This is a problem. This is really a problem. I should back them up. But I cannot do it now. I'm sorry, Kenya. This is a problem. They are really penetrating this area rapidly. I don't want to go into another war, especially against France. Even though it will make sense to defend Kenya there, but we are not strong enough, not yet. 
and in the meantime Major 10 is about to capitulate and we can enforce on them also the war reparation very good here let's go with declare neutrality unfortunately we give France an easy win there wow 145 mobilized battalions we cannot we cannot handle there we are just too weak even if we will support them declare neutrality it will be a suicide mission but what we can do instead now that we have extended our territory here we can finally i believe if we go to the diplomatic play establish economy a uh, colony in turkana exactly we need also to go here in ethiopia and amhara and uh, this is already an incorporated state this is good i might need to do violence suppression because there is 26 percent of turmoil Also, the access to the Ethiopian market is not good, so I will need to also take care of the road maintenance. Taking a look at the cost of life, grain and furniture are the most expensive. Let's build three here. And then we can also build for the furniture in Ethiopian Gonder, I think it's good. They have high population, so it should be easy for them to employ someone and uh, it should be profitable. But we can also do it in Oromia. Once we stabilize a little bit uh, all our economy, reducing certain prices that are important for the weakest part of the population, then we might consider to change the production method of the construction sector in order to start using more iron and uh, yeah this basically means that there will be more activities going on here in the Ethiopian Somaliland where we have the iron mills right now we are ranked 40 we are still unrecognized regional power GDP is uh, increasing 4.2 literacy is going up to 31.9 percent so almost 32 standard of living is increasing even though slowly population is uh, 4.15 millions we have high number a high amount of radicals because of the last conquest but we also have a fair amount of loyalists and yes we will now see how things will progress with our first colony France will really become a reason for concern in the future because they keep expanding in this area that's unacceptable we will border with them on two different sides farming boom event in Ethiopian Amara the encouragement of agricultural development in Ethiopian Amara has led to a small spike in production at our tobacco plantation we should look into using this before it goes to waste boost our farms farther we get plus 10 percent of agricultural throughput and also for the plantations ay 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 <laughs> this presence of france is really scaring me here <laughs> i don't want to become their next target they're really expanding so rapidly there Ah, it all started from a very small colony over there. Mechanical tools unlocked, guys, and this is incredible because it allows us now finally to start researching the railways. And in this way, we will be able to finally maybe start creating the first trains in, Eto in Ethiopia. I'm not even sure that we will be able, but let's see, because I want to reduce the, increase the market access of uh, the countries that are still not at 100%. And here we have again, against the odds, an event that we have seen already many times in the course of this short run so in this case we are going to definitely damage the petite bourgeoisie and the oriental uh, the oriental church as we have done also in the previous the previous times basically yeah the rural folk are already mad at us oriental church not really but on the on that direction but yeah 
I'm sorry guys, but right now I still need the armed forces and the lead owners. Even though at some point I might include also the church. Hmm. The reason for that is because uh, we are exposed to another technology here, which is medical degrees. And this unlock the law of the charity hospitals. And if I remember well, the charity hospitals are supported, of course, by the church, I will imagine. Yes, let's start bringing them in the government. Because I would like to pass that law as soon as it will be available. It will increase also the life expectancy of our people. Standard of living are going up because we are really decreasing the cost of a number of items that were previously expensive, like the grain, like the furniture and also the tobacco, taking also advantage of a, a nice increase bonus in the throughput. GDP is growing, literacy 32%, not bad at all for a country in Africa, 10.8 of standard of living population is stable on the 4.17 radicals are increasing but i will say that it's under control loyalist increasing as well i will say that it's time to make an experiment i hope i don't screw everything but let's go to the building construction sector iron frame building we will need to definitely increase the production of tools tools and iron, this was expected. We are taking a huge debt because of that. Let's increase temporarily the taxes just to support our economy where we, while we have this switch in the production method of the construction sector. Oh damn, look how France is expanding, it's insane. What's going to happen to our colony here? This is really terrible. I don't know how to stop France. Now that we can finally colonize. We need this piece of land. We need the coal that is in this piece of land. And the French attitude towards us is cautious for obvious reason. Somebody stop France, Austria, do something against France, Russia. Eh, yes, yes. I think we have lost our colony, yes. France, always France. <laughs> France has ruined our plans to install a colony here because they came and they completely ruined the party and now they have access to the coal mines that we wanted to utilize. Terrible. And now they will expand farther. It's ridiculous. Ah, uh, where can we get then the coal? That's the question. Potential. Yeah, it's all under the hands of France. Thank you, France, for ruining our party. The only option at this point will probably be to move to Madagascar, but now I, I don't want to build a navy just to try to expand there. I don't understand why France moved north instead, for example, of expanding to Hehe. We could have all been happy. But no, France is always greedy, especially in Africa. <laughs> Damn. And of course now we cannot establish a colony because we don't have, uh, we don't border with any. But what can I say, Turkana? I'm very sorry for you that in the hand you allowed this to happen 
I can tell you, you will have been happier with us than with France. There is no doubt about that. Uh, yeah, there is absolutely no coal production here. Yeah, this is tricky because at this point, I mean, if I don't want to target the countries here, which will require me to go through Oman, I will then have to target the southern part of uh, Madagascar, the Merida, Merina Kingdom, but then I might piss off Great Britain, which is where it towards us. So they will definitely pry into our business, I think. And we have to actually start increasing the relationship with them. It's a tricky situation, guys, uh, because I do not know where to get uh, the coal and France has completely uh, ruined our plans for the future development of the Empire of Ethiopia. So I will have to think something and rapidly, but I will say that probably for today we can end the episode here because for the moment everything is more or less stable. We managed already to resolve the lack of uh, tools in the empire and we will then continue to extract iron in order also to reduce the iron input shortage this change that we make in the production method for the construction sector should also contribute to the success i will imagine of the where it is of the to, 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 um, iron mines yes exactly now you can see how productive they are because now there is a good demand but again thank you france for ruining always my plans so that's uh, always the case with france the most loved country in the planet <laughs> and with this statement guys i think it's time to end the episode it's the uh, 8th of august uh, 1855 I hope to see you in the next video to see how our empire of Ethiopia will develop further now that France came and ruined our plans. Um, and if this will be the case, guys, see you in the next video. Cheers.